kept her out of Albert Square last year. She should have been taking maternity leave. Instead, she joined the ranks of the new BBC comedy drama Candy Cabs. Yeah, now the three-part series follows the story of two women who start a taxi company run by women, for women, and the brilliantly bumpy ride it takes them on. It's cougar time. Get back in your bleeding cage. <laughs> so all your drivers have passed the knowledge. Well, what were you? We're not in school. First body work. No galages, twice a week. Everyone passed. <laughs> Married but separated, divorce pending. So what does that make me? Available for drinks? Don't do that sort of thing. Oh, no, of course not. Hi, Joe's here now. So we were saying then that uh, that this is nice and light for you, yeah. which must be, I would have thought, a, a lovely compared Amazing to what you've Wolfram. normally got to do in Wolfram, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of frowning in Wolfram, isn't there, very often, and a lot of rowing. So yeah, it was. It was real. It was a real contrast. So when show. it came up in your maternity leave, did you think, well, you know, I ought to be having a rest? Yeah, and I, I mean, I, I was five months into my maternity leave, and um, and it had been quite full on at home. And I was about ready. That's because you've got twins. Yeah, to dip my toe in. And uh, and then, yeah, I got the phone call from Mickey Spiro, who directed Now Angels years ago, which I was in. And she sort of went, will you come back and think of doing this before you, you know, go back to his centers? And I went, it might not work out, surely. Really, and yeah. 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 But then, and so then tonight, it's like George Oyner night on BBC One. <laughs> because we've got you in your serious role in EastEnders, yeah. followed by the kind of lighter role the in Candy Cash. And a relator. Yes, an hour later. Is it an hour later? No, yeah, like I think so. It's about nine o'clock. Yeah. 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 Is it? It's your night on the telly. It's BBC Joe. So, <laughs> yeah. so that's night nice. for you. It's a bit better. like you, isn't it? And yeah, yeah. Molly and you. Sick of the sight of myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, did, I did love Candy Cabs. The first episode went out last week, actually. Okay. And um, your character's brilliant in it. You must have loved playing her. She's great fun. She is, she is really good fun. I, I love the way she dresses and everything. I mean, she's, she's described in one of the episodes as. Um, the chocolate sprinkles on a coffee that you don't really need, but it's more fun with them. I think that's. This is her, uh, a bit of uh, love interest wow. here, isn't it? Wow! Well, uh, although at the end of last week's episode, oh my goodness, we want to know more about Paul Nichols' character. Oh, he plays the fabulous Tony, and he's brilliant, Paul, and he's really great. He's great to work with. And yeah, he did look like that might all go wrong. Yeah, because we see him. we see you go on a date with him, kind of. Yeah. And at the end. Off he well, he's the, he's the head of the taxi permits department, yeah? He is, so he's quite important. Mm. But that's not why she's dating him. She actually can't believe her own luck when he asks her out because she's, you know, well, she can't believe her own luck, would you? It's poor Nicholas. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it looks like things might get a bit more complicated in the end. It looks like he's married as a baby, that's the That's thing. how it did look, yeah. I mean, well, it's, the, the, at the end of the episode, you saw well, it. We're assuming that so everyone watched the first one. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see. So the um, so this is the, well, there's only three now. So with a, with a bit of luck, you're hoping that if this is if it if it works, then there'll be some more. Yeah, yeah, some more. yeah I think there's room for more. Um, there's there's uh, a lot of strong women in this. Great right actresses. Cast. Yeah, there really is, and it's a real medley of, uh, of of ages and different skills. You know, we've got Jodie Prenger, who's you know more known for her her musical yeah. theatre, and she's um, she's doing great. Uh, I think this is her first TV role. Yeah, she, sure. she sings the theme tune as well. Isn't she it? sings <laughs> the theme tune. Yeah, look there they all this are. There's Kirsten, there's Dan, it? Danny there, and um, Mel Hill, who's just brilliant in it. You know, and you you get to see more of the women uh, throughout the show, really, and their characters, and and I think that's why it's got legs, really. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's tonight at nine on BBC One. We can't let you go without discussing what's going to happen in. Stenders. Big big week for you this week. It is. It's the wedding week. She's oh. getting married to Greg, or is she? <gasps> well, it, oh, it's so what? What can you? Uh, what can you tell you us? What can I tell you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you that there's a there's a big wedding. It's a white wedding. There's, yeah. uh, as you saw, there's tiaras and tears. And um, oh, there they are, look. And that's yeah. my hen do. That's very pink as well. <laughs> there you go, with yeah, the great jacket. a little jacket. bit of a fallout with Jane and you at the moment. In there. Yeah, there's a little bit of complication with Jane cause, because basically we both drink too much in the show and uh, Tanya and Jane are a little bit tipsy and, and Jane gets a bit carried away. Yeah. 
So he still he still loves her. He still has How eyes for her. Thing, you'd think after everything that happened, you know, after she pretty much buried him alive, you'd think he'd have learned his lesson there, wouldn't you? You'd think he'd have learned his lesson, but she forgave him. She dug him up, and you know, all's very love and war, isn't it, Walford? Um, yeah, I think there's always going to be something between yeah. those two. It's always going to be complicated. That's why it's. Good what is what is it with her? Do you think? What, do, what does what does she? She just loves a wrong one, and she's a one man woman. Actually, with her, I've always thought. The minute I went in the show, I thought this this is a one man woman. Everybody knows one. And it's as frustrating as it is to know a woman like that, you know, there's just one man for her, ultimately, no matter how hard she tries to do the right thing, I think. So it'll be interesting then if Candy Cab gets a second series. I wonder.